Okay, so um, you enter your uh, login details, which um, if you don't already have, I'll remind you there is um, an emergency uh, login pass that you can find in your uh, revision booklet. But uh, as soon as possible, if you could get that from your teacher. So you log in here, as you can see. Okay, and then when you get into Caboodle, there's a selection of courses to choose from. So for us, that'll be uh, GCSE French, grades nine to one. And then we select digital book. Okay, so then there are two books, two different levels, foundation and higher. So um, you by now will know probably which uh, level you're going to enter for, but if in doubt, begin with foundation, then move on to higher at a later date. It's got a few extra activities in that one. To be honest with you, there aren't there isn't a great deal of difference uh, between the two. So um, interactive listenings and interactive readings, um, which uh, can be part of your revision program at home. So you see me there, select the resources uh, tab, bottom left. And from there, if you go to browse all, okay. And then um, you just work through the topics looking for interactive resources. So starting at the beginning, uh, me, my family and friends. You can see already some interactive um, activities popping up. What we're looking for um, is reading and listening primarily. Any of them are great, but just to focus on those for the moment. So here's a reading one, so if I click on that. Okay, so then um, it's just a series of uh, questions and uh, so on this one, I've just got to put the, the age of the, it's a family tree, sort of an introduction to the family topic. So here I've just got to put the ages of different people in and then I'll show you how I get my feedback on that and how I go back um, to practice again if I don't get it correct the first time. So that one's asking me, uh, uh, Jean-Pierre's sister, how old um, is she? So it looks like she's nine years old. So if I type in enough into there. Okay, and then, well, you don't have to watch me do the rest, but I'll just fill these in so I can show you how the feedback works. Okay, and then when I check answers, you'll see that I got one out of 10 um, on that go. And so uh, what I can do then to learn from this and go through the process of repeating so I can get uh, full marks on it, and that's where my learning will happen, is um, if I do reset, reset this screen, it will allow me to have another go to try and uh, improve on my score until I can get full marks. So I can now repeat that. And there's good depth to some of these activities. So there are further questions behind this one. So that's a, an interactive reading activity. Um, and then we just sort of scroll through again until we uh, can find uh, others. I can see uh, there's a reading one there. Let's see if I can quickly show you a, a listening uh, one, there's a writing one there, but again, we'll just stick to our um, focus of reading and uh, listening for the moment. So here's a, a listening interactive. There, there are lots if you search through the different topics, but I would go through in topic order. So here's a listening activity, and again, it'll give me feedback. There's two pages of questions. Um, this one's just moving on to ideal partner. So this is uh, relationships, which is the next topic after family. And so, um, sorry, I should show you first. If I listen to the, listen to the text. One point two F, listening activity. Ton partenaire idéal. Ton partenaire idéal. Il est comment, Inès? Il a 18 ans. Il est grand. And if I was struggling to catch some of that and to improve my listening skills, I can, of course, just uh, rewind and listen to it again. And then it's just a case of uh, filling in the answers um, as I go, checking the answers when I've completed the exercise, and then uh, resetting and trying again uh, if there are any that I didn't get on the first attempt. So that's your reading and listening interactives, and they were in the resources section once I got into the uh, digital book when I'd logged in. Now, um, the whole book, as you can see, is here. Let me just scroll through it page by page. I also mentioned uh, vocab building. So at the end of each topic section, so if we move to the end of the family one here, um, 
there is a vocabulary section and this is what I would recommend for um, to add in to your reading and listening uh, revision schedule just for some vocabulary building. Um, a nice, easy, lazy way of doing uh, these ones is if we now uh, play the list, you'll hear the pronunciation of the words. And then as you get more familiar with this, you can turn away so that you're not looking at the screen and try and beat the person to translating each one. So I'll just show you that. 1.1. 1. 1. Relationships with family and friends. 1.1G. 1. Ma famille et moi. Adore. To, to love. love. Aimer. To like. To like. To love. Caspier. Annoying. Okay, and so the idea is there that you can use that and just listen to it to begin with and then keep it playing but turn away um, and try and beat the, uh, beat the translation as a way of revising, a nice easy way of revising listening and uh, building up your vocabulary.